Okay, everyone, it is time yet again to hunt for content. I mean, masterpieces here on Tragic MTG. I've got two of every set that might have a masterpiece in it, and we're going to hunt right now. So let's start off with some Almond Ket. Um, so far, I've not found any masterpieces. I'm not sure if I'm like halfway through these boxes yet. I don't think so. But the search continues. Watchful Naga, Bone Picker, Scaled Behemoth, and a Temit Timmy, Vizier of Noctamoon. That guy. Okay, there he is. In all his Timmy glory. Okay. We got an Egyptian uh, Egyptian theme, like an uh, Indian theme, and a Zendikarian theme. What other themes could we find in this game? We got a Vizier of Remedies, a Watchful Naga, On Crop Champion, and a Vizier of Many Faces. Uh, oh yeah, I should read the rare. He's a shapeshifter cleric that does some stuff. There you go. Crocodile of the Crossing. And an exert token thingamabob. Kaladesh. Here we go. I think I'm going to only read the rares that aren't 800 words. And I will skip the commons as requested by like two people. All right. Decoction module. Hazardous conditions, an aether hub, and authority of the consoles. I'll read this one. It's an enchantment for one white. Creatures your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your opponent's control, you gain one life. So, there's that. Kaladesh, Kaladesh. Imperial Voyager, Chief of the Foundry, Quicksmith Genius, and a Skyship Stalker. It's a Flying Dragon for four, it's a 3-3, three, three. and you can make it do some stuff. Pump it, give it first strike, or give it haste. That seems alright. That seems alright. Usually, like, you get one of those things, a couple of those things for free, other than having to pay for them. Hour of Devastation. Okay, all right. Unconventional tactics, supreme will, if near deadlands, and driven to despair. Until end of turn, creatures you control gain trample, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. And then in the aftermath, until end of turn, creatures you control gain menace. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. All right. Hour of Devastation. I'd like to get Scarab God out of here. Um, Fervent Paincaster. Gideon's Defeat. Consigned to Oblivion. And Ronus's Last Stand. For two, you can sorcery. You can create a five-four green snake creature token. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. Hmm, it's a bit of a trade-off there. All right, battle for Zendikar. Rising Miasma. Plated Crusher. Horribly awry. Yeah, definitely. And a Maria Shepherd for seven. You get a 4 4 Flying Angel with Landfall. And whenever a land comes in, you may return target non land permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. If that land is a Plains, you may return to the battlefield. Like, that's not bad. It's okay. Not a whole lot to love out of Battle for Zendikar, in my opinion. Big mythics, of course. Oh my gosh! I spoiled it. I spoiled it, but there it is. Okay, let's let's push this back together and pretend like that did not happen. Oh, I got some commons here. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. We got an uncommon turn against. A blighted step. A retreat to Ameria. Ooh, nice. A mythic Drana, liberator of Malakir. Two, three for three. Legendary vampire flying with first strike. Who cares? Because I got a misty rainforest. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Uh, turned up a uh, masterpiece, and that's a good one. That is a good one. Um, yes, I'm very thrilled to have this. Can you tell the excitement in my voice? Look at the little birds. Little birds in that foil. Happy little birds. Very, very cool. It's gorgeous. Okay, where's a sleeve right now? Okay. Here we go. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. So cool. All right, well that's a keeper. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably hang on to that one. So there it is. I'm gonna put it where it won't get wrecked. Maybe right up here. Okay. Let's let's move on and see if uh, maybe. Lightning will strike twice here. Pack of Aether Revolt. Get the Swooper. Oh man, awesome. Malf I gotta try not to spoil it, I guess. I need to fix my my method here. I got a Malfist Revolutionary, Rogue Refiner, Monstrous Onslaught, Gaunti's Aether Heart for six, a legendary artifact. When Gonti's Aether Heart or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you get two energy. You can pay, how many is that? Eight. Exile Gonti's Aether Heart. Take an extra turn after this one. That yeah, seems somewhat maybe doable. All right. Very, very cool. Okay. I'm going to like try not to if there is one <laughs> foundry hornet lifecraft awakening spire patrol merchant's dock hand artifact creature for one to one two and you can tap some artifacts and look at cards <laughs> got a foil of the same thing uh, marginally more exciting <laughs> that's funny all right so that goes there all right, Oath of the Gate Watch. Body Minifiri, Harvester Troll, Mrs. Judgment, and Stonehaven Outfitter. Two, for, two, two for two, equip creatures you control get one, one. Whenever an equipped creature you control dies, draw a card. And not a masterpiece. Last pack, and we'll scan these up. Cyclone Sire, Kazul's Toll Collector, Baloth Pup, Oath of Chandra, Legendary Enchantment for two. When it enters the battlefield, it does three damage to target creature and opponent controls. We need with each end step. If the planeswalker enter the battlefield under control this turn, Oath of Chandra deals two damage to each opponent. Mm. And that's it. So, all right, we'll scan these up and see how I did. All right, I will scan up my rares here. Got an Oath of Chandra. There we go. 39 cents for an Oath of Chandra. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Stonehaven Outfitter. Oh, the glare. Sometimes. 38 cents. Merchant's Dockhand. Gaunti's Aether Heart. 71. <coughs> Drana Liberator of Malakir. Nice. 691. Amiria Shepherd. That's a buck. Ronus's Last Stand. Driven to Despair. 
That's a buck. Skyship Stalker. Authority of the Consoles. There, wow, four bucks for that. Vizier of Many Faces. 49 cents. Temet is only 32 cents. So, well, there you have it. Um, that was okay for my uh, masterpiece hunt. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to hit uh, the like button, um, comment down below, and ah, oh, you didn't think I'd forget to scan this, did you? All right, let's see if we can see it through the sleeve. Two hundred and forty-seven dollars. That is pretty fucking awesome, I gotta say. All right, you guys, thank you for stopping by. Um. I got the rest of these boxes to go through. Maybe I'll get lucky again, so check back for more. Bye.